morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Thursday, the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. We will now have the morning prayer, antiphones and psalms, to be followed by the blessings of the candles, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord of creation. He enters his holy temple. Come, Come let, let us worship the Lord of creation. creation. He, he enters, enters his holy temple. Come, let us, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the God who saved us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord of creation. He enters his holy temple. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lord of creation. He enters his holy temple. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock, his shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord of creation. He enters his holy temple. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not go stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at my and master, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord of creation. He enters his holy temple. Forty years I ended that generation. I said, They are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord of creation. He enters his holy temple. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord of creation. He enters his holy temple. Simeon was a holy and devout man who looked for the redemption of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was with him. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I must through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. 
Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Simeon took the child in his arms and gave thanks to God. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every sorrow and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. He is a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful, let Israel rejoice in his miracle. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbre and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples to bind the kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron to carry out the sentence preordained this honor is for all his faithful glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen please bring out your candles for the blessing and wait for them to be lighted Please stand. The brothers and sisters, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple. Enlightened by the same Spirit, they recognized the Lord and confessed Him with exaltation. So let us also, gathered together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ. There we shall find Him and recognize Him in the breaking of the bread until he comes again revealed in glory.
Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just man Simeon the light for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that in answer to your people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles which you are eager to carry in praise of your name, so that treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may now put off your candles. Oh, 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who is this King of Glory? It is the Lord. King of Glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up your ancient portals, that the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this King of Glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels, reach up your ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for the purifications, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to
to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arm and blessed God, saying, No, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepare at the sight of all the peoples, a light to revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for all, for the fall and rise of many in Israel, to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself, a sword will pitch that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess Anna, the daughter of Panuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Meron siyang teacher sa mga first graders. Uh, sabi niya sa mga bata, Class, ang ating topic ngayon ay tungkol sa inyong mga pangarap. Ano bang mga pangarap nyo? Kanya-kanya silang taas ng kamay at nag-volunteer una si Juan. Sabi niya, Ma'am, pangarap ko po na maging mayaman. Magkaroon ng maraming pera. Yumamang yumaman. Sabi ng teacher, very good Juan. Palakpakan natin si Juan. Sunod na nag-volunteer ay si Maria Fe. Pinakamaganda sa klase. At sabi niya, ma'am, pangarap ko po na magkaroon ng maraming anak. Maraming maraming anak. Very good, sabi ng teacher. Palakpakan natin si Maria Fe. Merong isa na excited. Nagtaas ng kamay si Pedro. Sabi niya, ma'am, ma'am. Hindi niya siya mapaghintay. O ikaw, Pedro, anong pangarap mo? Sabi ni Pedro, Ma'am, pangarap ko po, tutulungan ko si Maria Fe na matupad ang kanyang pangarap. Mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, palagay ko, I'd like to presume, na tayo ay may kanya-kanyang pangarap. Matayog, maliit, simple. Siguro yung pangarap na iba dito, makapunta ng manawag. Siguro yung pangarap, makapag-asawa, magkaroon ng trabaho, makapunta abroad, makatapos sa mga anak sa pag-aaral. 
Simple, matayog, magara. Sa totoo lang mga kapatid, ang ating mga pangarap ang bumubuhay sa atin. Pag nawalan ka na ng pangarap, wala kang hinaharap. Remember that. Yun ang bumubuhay, nagbibigay lakas. Sa English siguro, pwede natin sabihin yung pangarap, aspirations, dreams, goals, hopes. Sa ating Ibanghelyo, meron tayong nakita dalawang tao, matatanda pareho. Sila rin may kapwa, may pangarap. Si Simeon, sinabi dito na pangarap niya makita ang Panginoon. Not explicitly. Sinabi lang na pinangakuan siya na hindi siya kukunin ni Lord kapag hindi niya palakita ang Messiah. Kaya nung makita niya ang ating Panginoon, not by accident, I do believe, itong kanilang nangyari sa kanila. Hindi ito accident na nandun lang sila sa templo. It is for a reason. Alang sabi ni Simeon na mahawakan ng bata, Now Lord, my Master, you can let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Paano natupad ang kanilang pangarap? Si Anna, ganun din. She represents those who are waiting for the fulfillment of their hope in Israel. Paano nangyari ang pangarap? Natupad, nakatagpo ang Panginoon. They have an encounter with the Lord. Tandaan po natin yan, ang ating pangarap magkakaroon ng katuparan. Hindi lang kapag kakasama ang Panginoon, kundi kapag siya ay nakatagpo natin sa maraming yugto, pagkakataon, panahon, karanasan ng ating buhay. At paalala sa atin, sa bawat misa, nakakatagpo natin ang Panginoon. Sa bawat misa, nararanasan natin, pinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ng pagdala ni Jose at Maria sa templo. The presentation of the Lord. Sa bawat misa, tinutupad ng Panginoon ang ating mga pangarap sapagkat siya lang ang tanging katuparan ng lahat. Brothers and sisters, when you leave this church, I hope, like Simeon, you could also tell the Lord, at sana handa na kayo, Lord, you may let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Maring hindi man tayo magiging daan ng katuparan ng pangarap natin at pangarap ng ibang tao. Gawin din natin bahagi ng ating pangarap na tayo ay makatulong sa katuparan ng pangarap ng iba. And how do we do that? Just like the experience of Simeon and Anna, just like our experience, gawin natin ang ating sarili, ang ating buhay, ang siyang pagtatagpo ng ibang tao at ng Diyos ni Kristo. Nawa, mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, matupad ang ating mga pangarap, magandaman, matayog, malaki, o simple. Tandaan lang natin, si Jesus, ang ating pangarap, si Jesus, ang katuparan ng lahat. Bring Jesus with you. Only Jesus. For Jesus. In Jesus. Please stand. Brothers and sisters, Christ shines as the light of salvation to all nations and the glory of His people. Let us bring our prayers to the Father who gave, us, gave up His only Son for us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Though the church may show the world the true face of Christ and be a sign of salvation to all, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority may render selfless service to society, have the courage to speak and act in the name of truth and justice, and bear witness to the love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be inspired by the obedience of Our Lady and Saint Joseph to always observe the precepts of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That fathers and mothers may inspire their children to follow Christ by their, their own examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of our country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may go forth into God's peace and rejoice for forever with Mary and all the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, without you we are in darkness. May your light shine brightly in us, that we may become in our own way reflections of your light. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give your thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel, and light of the nations. And so we too go forth, rejoicing to encounter your salvation, and with all the angels and saints, praise you, as without end, we acclaim. Your glory, oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. I graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. When the parents of Jesus brought him into the temple, Simeon took him in his arms and gave thanks to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When, when the, the parents, parents of Jesus brought him into the temple, Simeon took him in his arms and gave thanks to God. Let us now pray the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces received during the COVID pandemic. Let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you entered a world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, Breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this, we thank and praise you. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Saint Michael, the pray. Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa Basilika at sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa na huwag sa inyong pag-uwi. Bitbit nyo ang mga biyaya ng Diyos Ama at ang mga panalangin na mahal na inang Maria. Ingat sa pag-uwi. Enjoy the rest of the day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. 
and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.